a yeah, it was good, my folks. And hey, you already know what the deal is. Asian boy, let her let me y'all see the buggy. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'ma just show you the picture of the back to back. You know what I'm talking about smoke. But look, check this out. You already know what it's hitting for. You already know it's your boy. Hey, I've been going, flipping, moving, doing everything else. I got Instagrams and shit. I'm doing a lot of other shit though, you feel me? But I'm steadily make shit move. But you know always gotta come back in touch with the fam, you feel me? We always gotta touch down on politics. And there's two things we're gonna talk about today, cause two things that I've been just on for the past few days, and it's really the uh yeah, it's official. Yeah, that motherfucker hard, ain't it? It's hard, ain't it? Boy, hey, look, and then that's my little, you feel me? I put my little spin on this shit, but we boogied out, you feel me? But it's like this. Um, I'm going to talk about Pop Smoke and I'm going to talk about Floyd. Now, let's get Pop Smoke out the way, you know what I mean? Because that's the most, you know, that's the Pop Smoke in here. So it's like this. Uh, somebody asked me a long time ago to do a video on Pop Smoke, kind of how I did with Nipsey, and I told him I was going to do it. So, in a sense, this is that video. Like, it's no dummy. Like, in a sense, it, it's, this is that video, and it's going to be like, like right now, like, you feel me? Because of time, man. I'm sorry, that was just something that had nothing to do with nothing. Uh, but it's like, uh, Let's, let's go to the conspiracy side with the conspiracy side because even like I ain't gonna touch on it yet but even when the uh, conspiracy came to uh Nipsey I knew even when the conspiracy came to Nipsey uh it's a lot more I don't even want to talk about that yet but it's like this um Bob Smoke we were saying like maybe it was because he rented the car or whatever or some shit like that or maybe it's because you know the truths and the woos and it was a new york thing you feel me all those things can still be in place it's always conspiracy we know that it's always conspiracy you know what i mean so we can go with that but let's just stick with the facts so it's like this um i read it last night um but you know it's out there today and i'm gonna try to post something on it. but basically they testified and they said that um it was some jits who ran up on them so you know, some jets. So, and the thing about it is, it always makes me feel the same way when it comes to everybody. Cause like, like okay, with X, he seen him, so he shouldn't have. When he seen him in the bike shop, he should have just left the shop because he knew he was doing a lot. He was getting new. I think he was getting ten new sets of keys because he lost all the sets of keys to his bikes, and he was probably gonna buy some more. But he was doing like super rich nigga shit. You can't do that when you know these niggas is constantly thirsty and Kodak in jail, and that's what he was fucking with even for what he was fucking with him, you know? And then, um, uh, Juice World, we know he shouldn't have took the drugs, but it's still kind of awkward. Like, it is kind of awkward, but I'm gonna I'm get more into that one too, trust me. Um, and when it came to Nipsey, it's like, um, they knew it was already a hit on you because of other shit. And so, you had to have niggas that was above the timing and like them niggas wasn't around the timing and the nigga that did warrant he tried to like but he wasn't really like trying to be like nah nigga you come on you got like you know what i mean if you press a nigga let a nigga know something popping but niggas weren't really trying to so that's why he got fucked over like this and then for it to be at the shop with nobody up there with a pistol that's why cuz they would just stay there and freelance and shoot as many times as he had to and so it leads me to what i'm talking about here with smoke and it's sad because with every one of these deaths, they could have been somewhat, they could have automatically prevented the thirsty niggas won't rob niggas, period. Because COVID would have had all these dumb niggas that was robbing. COVID would have made all these niggas get money anyway, you dumb niggas. They, they did all these dumb killings. COVID would have got y'all niggas money anyway, you dumb niggas. So it wasn't no point in it. But it's still like, even within that, every one of our favorite artists still had a chance to keep themselves alive. And I hate when I have to put those truths out, but that's the truth. Okay, so like, all right, let me tell you, Pop Smoke, right? He posted a picture with somebody giving him something, addresses on there, violation number one. And then I realized what niggas do that's going in the houses, especially in the West, out here in LA, they pull, they got an app, a, a renter's app, and they can pull your house up on that renter's app. If they pull your house up, they can see the dynamics of your house. Like, so obviously they ran that play. And when they seen a picture of his address from that picture, he posted with some shit that somebody sent him, then they, then earlier that then when they found it, niggas in the hood, niggas in the hood chilling. You know, if you're a nigga in the hood, you chilling, you just chilling. And you be like, man, we, we should go hit that nigga. Niggas that's be on that shit be like, man, we should go hit that nigga possible. Yeah, yeah, let's go hit him. And they jets. 
You feel me? And then it's a, it's one it's one old nigga, two old nigga. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I love, you know. Oh, that's why he just driver. That's why he was a driver. That's why he wasn't actually in the in the situation because he the old nigga. So the old nigga always want to be the driver so he can keep himself out of the situation. That's why he's trying to defend his case right now. That's why he's doing the testifying. That's why he has his lawyer doing the most talking because he trying to put himself in a position just in case this did happen on some dumb shit, which you shouldn't have did that. But that's just when you know. How you know you was dealing with some jits and one and like one or two old niggas because they they set the jits up to lose because they know the jits is gonna do something stupid without thinking you feel me even old niggas do you know what I'm saying so um they staked the house out whatever they seen what it was hitting for uh, they had a party that night so them niggas knew it was a party up there when they was around there them niggas was probably somewhere around the cut chilling or they or they had some 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 chicks show up you feel me so if they had some chicks show up. They was just sitting there, you know, outside the party or had the girls, you know what I mean? Getting ready and everything. When the girls said, okay, the party can close them, you know, niggas pull them, get ready. Masked up and everything. And so then Pop Smoke went upstairs with his chick. Now, the only question I'm going to only have for Pop Smoke is like, where was his people's after the first shot? Where was you niggas at? You niggas are supposed to react like quick because y'all should already, like, you know what I mean? It was X died. Like, you know, niggas already been passing away. So it ain't like, you feel me? And I believe Nipsey died. I believe Nipsey died. Or I'm not sure, but all I know is it was deaths anywhere around that time. You feel me? So it's just like, it's just like, so they come upstairs, they go, they come through the balcony because they already got the breakdown of the house. So they come up through the balcony uh, and the nigga in the car like, all right, I'll be here when I get out. Just, you know what I mean? Go in there and rob that nigga. Don't kill that nigga. Don't shoot him. Fuck that. Just rob me. Get on. Get on. Cut. Do too much. Cut. Knock him out. Hey, cut. I can get on about the shit. Don't kill. Cut. Don't. That's the, always the plan, because niggas tell you don't kill him, because you ain't trying to go like me or to jail for life or that. So, the niggas went up to the balcony, went through the back door, masked up, boop, 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 boop. Pop smoke in the bathroom, he about to fuck the bitch. You feel me? He in the bathroom, you know, like, yeah, I'm finna bang this bitch. So, them niggas ran up, the first nigga ran up to her, put the thing to her head, told her, hey, shut the fuck up or you gonna die. Obviously, you gonna shut up. Pop smoke, in full detail, they said he, the two niggas ran in there on pop smoke. It was like, yo, they put up on, like, this is the part where I be like, niggas had a chance to where it pisses me off because, bro, you, like, you, like, what you, what you doing? Like, if they gonna shoot you and kill you, I understand you fight them, but other than that, what you doing? They got you. They got you. You lost that, like, X, you fighting with your bag. What you doing? They got you. Nipsey wasn't no fighting chance. Nipsey was a merc. Nipsey was just about a realization, like, cuz, like, nah, cuz, this nigga weird, cuz, like, let me just be a little alert right now. Just a little alert because you was just not alert at all. You was just dumb, relaxed, sitting on the car, chilling when a nigga ran up. Like, if you was somewhat more alert, you would have seen a nigga like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like the nigga was an American Sprinter. You would have been seen a nigga if you was more alert, but you was just so confident and well relaxed. And so it sucks. And it's like sometimes niggas like in that thing, in that bag, and some niggas think they too tough. And I mean, not like that, but in a sense, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, so the boys ran up on him. Uh, they was they told him give me your chain and shit because like he said he was naked he had his chain and shit on and he like they like give me your chain you know what I mean he ain't trusting no bitch and all that other shit ain't nothing anybody fucking all that just put that chain on you feel me so they said he was complying he was like cool I personally think he was like cool and when they told him thank you or some shit like that was like thank you when he gave him the chain and they was like and and they was like thank you I think in somewhere in his brain it clicked like. Either one, he knew they was young, or two, he was like, man, I should try these niggas, man. I don't care if these niggas ride me. These niggas ain't built like that. These niggas just got guns. One of those, I, I personally believe, one of those two triggers went off in his head. And so then from there, he started back fighting for his chain. And when you started fighting for your chain, the niggas might not have been like that, but you was fighting jits. So a jit will use their gun. Just like an old scary nigga will use his gun. And a jit is different, because a jit is like, you know, they they brain are like, you know, pop, like, you know, that's what they listen to. You know, you nervous, but you'll do it. So he started fighting with the Jets. And then when he started fighting with the Jets, he tried to take off. It's the one Jet. He hit him in the back. Boom. He fell down to the ground. And then went over and they started stomping him out. And so then obviously somehow it's weird how they were stomping him out. But that's how you know they was Jets. Because somebody was stomping out. He managed to get up and try to run downstairs some more. And they shot him two more times in the back. So it seems like they was trying to get his shit. And he wasn't trying to give it up. And he was trying to fight for it. And it's like, so... It's sad because it's like, low-key, I, I believe it could have been prevented if he just gave up his chain.
and his little shit and gave whatever little money and them just would've went on about their day. I don't think they would've killed him. I don't, I don't. Now, do they not deserve, do they deserve life and all that? That ain't for me to say, but I just uh, felt like that they wouldn't have killed him if he gave up his chain, so it just sucks. Cause it's like, sometimes nigga, you just gotta take that little L. You got caught, like you was in the shower naked and they ran up on you with two guns. Like you done, they already got your bitch laid out on the bed. You gotta give up, you can't fight back. Like that's why. So, you know, justice will be served, but you know, this is just a word to the wise. If any nigga mad me come up with anything like that, you know niggas, anybody, you know what I mean? Anybody who come through and out this world is need to be, you know what I mean? You gotta understand that fact, like, you know what I mean? Like if you if they got you with your drawers down, you fuck. Like take that L and go about your day. Like just make sure it ain't the worst type of L you can take, cause that's what he did. He turned it into the worst type of L by not giving this chain up. And he gave it up, then he tried to take it back and fight him. Like you tripping. I know something clicked in his brain and he realized I can take these niggas. But problem was, homie, they had a gun and one bullet fuck you up, and that's what happened. And after that, they just shot you two more. Cut the same nigga shot you two more times. So, um, it's sad and. I'm always going to look into the case because I like Pop Smoke so much. So I'm always going to continue to look into it and look into a deeper fact to see if it is some type of connection with some conspiracy shit or if it was just a, you know what I mean? Because the more niggas tell me, oh, Nipsey Hussle is just kind of like Eric Holder. Nah, it's just with, with every one of those facts, I get another fact in it'd be like, nah, niggas knew niggas made calls it was day niggas knew days before niggas was making niggas was put like like hey you keep on getting caught you keep on getting more hits so i'm a um stay on this because i love smoke he was he was real all right so let's switch the subject and get this back on the right vibe at the end of this video all right and this right here is uh if you fast forward to this right here all right let's talk about jake paul or if you still listen to Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather, um, Logan Paul. Uh, Floyd just trying to get some money. He want to be back in the spotlight. He don't like being in this missing our spotlight. It's an easy payday. Uh, it's not really a fight worth watching. The only reason I'm going to watch it is because number one, I got to do a review about it. And number two, because Chad Johnson fighting and Chad Johnson is making his pro debut career. Like, I honestly thought it should have been Floyd versus Chad Johnson or Floyd versus Adrian Broner because that would have been more interesting for us. Whereas in him versus, I don't know who the hell he's fighting. Oh, Logan Paul. You know, and the thing is, if you've seen the press conference, Floyd actually, um, he lost his cool. That nigga clicked. It's crazy because he usually don't lose it like that. And I was telling this nigga for real until I kept on seeing how much he kept on calling motherfuckers and going off. And Floyd don't cuss like that from the perception that he put always in front of the world, especially when it came to hard knocks. Of course, I know he cussed because we could talk about different hard knock episodes in 24 and all that other shit. But overall, you know, he tried not to. And he was just going ham. I think he started to act at the end, but I think, or maybe he didn't. But I know it's, it really caught him off guard. And so then he had to uh, come at him because he grabbed his hat. And as you see, I put every angle. So when they grabbed him, they really kind of like, like Floyd is is a is a savage. I think if his cameras around, he would have punched him. And then, or you see how he goes like, get his ass, get his ass. He sent his bodyguards to beat niggas up. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, man. But if you live when you listen to you gonna hear me say, get his ass, get his ass, get his ass. Like damn, Floyd, you fucked up. You had your bodyguards fucking nigga up straight like that. But you already know what the fight is going to hit for. Um, it's going to be an easy fight. Logan Paul is big and all that other shit. But one thing is, you got to understand, number two, let me tell you one thing. Number one, it's different when you're in the ring actually fighting a nigga versus to sparring, fighting. Sparring is different still from real fighting. Number two, the none of the Pauls, they haven't fought. So they're not used to, when you punch, you have to bring your hand back as fast as it goes out and then, and then and up here. So if it goes out here, it has to come back up here fast. They do this, and a person like Floyd is gonna see that. Like, when your hand comes back down, he's just gonna punch right after you punch, and that's gonna be Andy. Oh, you see lights went out. Hey, hey. So, this fight ain't gonna be close. Y'all know what it's hitting for, but I had to put this shit up, because this shit was hilarious. Me and me and Ben, me, me and ben was watching shit a thousand times. She's like, I don't watch this fight, but I watch shit a thousand and one times. All right, man, y'all ain't know I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I love y'all, baby. Hey. Yo, yeah, my YouTube, let me know. I'm mean, on my Instagram, because I be on that bit every day. Just slide and vibe with me. Vibe with me.
Were you expecting anything like that? Yeah, he told me he was gonna do it. I oh, told, told him. I told him not to. <laughs> and you he went said, after your brother immediately. He said I of think course. Hey, hey, police security does a good ass. <laughs> somebody got. <laughs> these boys are big. Who? Nobody got pulled up. No, no one got beat up. Does, so, does this light a fire in you now? I mean, you just yeah. Your oh brother. no. Yeah, bro, this shit is so personal. This shit is so fucking personal. I, I thought this shit was gonna be kind of cute. We're going to put on a good show. He said, I'm not controversial. Make no mistake. Performed. I feel good, and I'm gonna go out there and perform and do what I do best. Flo, do you really want to take them both on at the same night? Both Absolutely brothers? easy. You got two fake fighters. Fake fighter. I'm a real fighter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right here, please. Yo. Yo. Alright, hang on. Yo. I want you to run it the way you want to run it. Looking over here? What's up? You want to you wanna run it two in one night? What's up? You want to run it two in one night? Absolutely. You want to run it two in one night? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, 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 let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work for this bug. Get, get Al Hammond. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't need Al Hammond. Let me call Al Hammond. I'm my let's own make boss. It I'm my own boss. one night. Got your hat. I'm a fucking 